You're watching The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ MV Angela Yee, Charlamagne the God. We are The Breakfast Club. We got a special guest in the building. Yes, sir, the OG. Tracy Morgan. Tracy Morgan. Tracy Morgan. First of all, that, that is very fresh. Well, it's not fresh. This is truck. It's truck better. jewelry. Oh, truck yeah, it's called truck. Somebody said the other day. I like that necklace, and I looked at it like she was... Crazy. That's not a necklace. This is that's not a, a necklace. It's a truck chain. jewelry. It's truck. <laughs> truck jewelry. Yeah, I feel like a stick up kid from East New York. I'm going to change my name to Barshawn. <laughs> Barshawn. Yo, Bar, come here, man. That's how it is back in Everybody the day. saying move to East oh, New yeah. York right now and invest oh, wow. in real estate in East New York. That's what they're saying? That's what they're saying. Well, I might go buy some projects. I don't know. That's next. Why not? <laughs> why do they call it truck jewelry, though? I never understood trunk? why they call it. Tr oh, trunk. Truck. Truck. Uh, yeah, don't that look like a truck ooh. cable? <laughs> That's hard. Tell me that it's ain't hard. butter. It's hard. Now y'all going yeah. again. And you got on some very expensive. <laughs> you got on some very expensive cologne too, Tracy. Oh yeah. Tracy ain't playing. Well, my father always taught me when you got there, it's always smell good. Women love to st stand That's next a fact. to a woman, a man that smell good. But you can't <laughs> keep them fragrances on. No, you're, you're right, but guys got to understand, you can't spray that cologne on and not shower. I, the other night, Wait, I was yeah, a lot of dudes do that. Ooh. They be in the club, smell like mildew. Like funk and yeah, <laughs> You got yeah, that yeah. T-shirt out the hamper. Mm -hmm. You know you got that T-shirt out the hamper. Well, let, me t let me tell you, happy early born day too, man. You're born day in a few Thank days, you, man. Yes, sir. Yo, can I ask you a question, child? Uh -huh. And you have a lot of wisdom, knowledge, wisdom, being bringing forth understanding. Yes, sir. Uh, what is the opposite of death? Life. No, you're wrong. Tell me. It's birth. Ooh, okay. That's mm -hmm. a fact. That's a jewel for you. Mm -hmm. I'll at me. <laughs> how, do, how do you, how do you, uh, <laughs> how, how different do birthdays feel after the accident? No, um, after the accident, I, that was four years ago. My birthday, I, I'm regular. I've never been big on it. Yeah. It's, it, it comes and it goes, but I've not changed. Mm -hmm. I still feel 16. You know, fairy tales can come true. <laughs> it can happen for you if you're young at heart. You think they're planning a stay, big surprise for you? I don't know. I don't get involved in that. You're not supposed I stay to. focused. Mm -hmm. I stay focused from day to day mm -hmm. after the accident. I take it day to day. I don't take today for granted. Where, where, where? And I just try to spread that love, man. You like surprises? Some people hate when people do like surprises. Well, I don't I care about what some people like or don't like. Mm -hmm. I mean, I take it as a calm. I'm like Bruce Lee. I take it as a calm. I'm like a, a palm tree. I've been in the wind. You know what I mean? Well, at least you dress for it. Yeah, okay. I say fresh. I'm surprised you still I'm fresh. from Brooklyn, man. I'm from God. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm saying fresh. You know, I'm from Brooklyn, man. I'm good with clothes, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> good with clothes, man. You still enjoy comedy? Yes. Why? We just, because, first of all, when I do it, I, it's more, it's bigger than me. So it's not about me enjoying it. That's the wrong question. It's about them people enjoying it. People enjoy Did you it. guys have fun? <laughs> we have fun. We went on a journey. You know, I'm just a vehicle. You know, when I do stand up and when we do entertainment, we're in service to others. Right. We are in service to them. That's why he kept me and spared my life. He spared your life. You woke up this morning. Yeah, right. Because you ain't got to get by no truck. And you ain't got to get shot or stabbed. You can simply lay your healthy ass down with the juice bar and just not wake up. When he's ready to meet you, he's going to meet you. That's real. Your best bet is to run your race. You have to spread that love to everybody. White, black, male, female, straight, gay. I love you and you can't do nothing about it. Mm -hmm. Only thing you could do is love me back, brother. So what you put into the universe is coming back. Believe that. Mm -hmm. But come around, don't go around. What come around is coming back around. I've never seen a clock do this and stop and do this. So even those who <laughs> trespass upon me, Word. Word. I forgive you. And I love you. I see Lil Rel at the Emmys. I just, yeah, I love you. Stay funny. I don't got no beef with you. I don't even know you. Oh, so you've seen Rel since he made the comments when he called you Yeah, I don't care about that. Yeah. That's a lie. Like Mason said, there's only a lie. There's only hate when you're lying. Mm -hmm. so if you listen to the interview, mm -hmm. I didn't take anything from Tiffany. I love Tiffany. I gave her a job. She's my co-star. Crazy, you answering all our questions but, before we ask I know. Because I knew Charlie you was going like, to ask that clip. I knew you was going to ask that. So I'm answering it. Mm -hmm. I took nothing from her. I was just giving homage, paying homage to those who wake up every morning. I didn't take anything from my sister. I love you. Me and you are doing it. We're providing a service for the world. But those who get up in the morning and lift these heavy boxes and make sure we look good. That's I real. just wanted to take the time to give them that. So when you called me a hater on the radio, I was like, what? I love this dude. Mm -hmm. 
the last time I saw him, he interviewed me after the accident. You said you loved me. I do love you. So you were just saying that because that's your girlfriend. Oh, but no, I you love know, her. Yeah, Tiff is like family to me. But I know, yeah, but yeah. you don't have to protect her, protecting her by hurting me. Because no. when people say that word with me, mm -hmm. this is a 30 year career right here. I never had no problems with no one. Mm -hmm. So now all of a sudden I'm this? No, dude, you don't got to go there. That's that crabs in the barrel stuff, man. Did you did you feel like you sounded like a hater though? No, I thought I felt like I sounded like I was giving the production props. Mm -hmm. I didn't feel like that. And craft but services. people are oversensitive. People are super sensitive about stuff, so they took it as that, and then they listened to the interview over and over and over again, and then they came up with this in their mind. Dude, no, I was just I didn't take anything from. I was just saying to the grips. The craft service, people that make us look good. Mm -hmm. I look at craft service. Sometimes I take the time out from being Tracy Morgan, the star, and I look at others, man. I don't cry for me, man. Don't cry for me. Okay, I, I had a misfortune accident. Don't cry for me. Cry for others, man. My grandmother told me, when you think you doing bad, there's always somebody out there worse. Right. There's people out there in the world with nobody to love, and nobody to love them. How about that? What is happiness? What is happiness? What is happiness? Whatever you think it is mm -hmm. wrong. Yeah, subjective. It's simpler than that. Yeah. It's way simpler than that. You know what have, true happiness is? Having something to look forward to. You got kids. I know you got kids. Five. I follow you. Mm -hmm. And you look forward to them graduating. God, that smile, I love that's them. where your happiness lies. Damn right. Simple and plain, man. I'm not no fool. Mm -hmm. You see what I do with my community. I want to talk about that. I'd rather talk about me getting the key to Brooklyn for my services, mm -hmm. hey. giving back. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about me turning 50. I'm joining the 50 Club, and I love it. Mm -hmm. I'm 50. I thought I knew it all when I was 27. Mm -hmm. Comes to find out I ain't knew nothing. I just <laughs> thought I knew. Mm -hmm. That was in your mind, man. You turn 50, you be like, wow. I'm smarter than him. Not because that's the way it is. I've been here longer. Experience. That's I don't care what you say in that mic. Experience. Mm -hmm. Yo, this is a 30-year career. Homie, what you do is just buckle down and go for yours. Mm -hmm. Don't spend time worrying about who's hating and this and that. No. I see Tiffany almost every day when we working. Be cool. As far as I'm concerned, mm -hmm. my day, my wife, my wife is home. Mm -hmm. If I want beef, I go with my wife. You know what I'm saying? And me and her get along. I got a mother. I got a five-year-old daughter. I got sisters. I got aunts. I got all of that. I got friends, females. Ain't none of them ever going to say I'm a hater. No, Tracy's giving. If you know me, to know me, Paul, is to love me. Get your shirt off my back, kid. Yes, sir. Follow me, kid. I know where the Underground Railroad is, man. You want to be free? <laughs> Shout out to your ass better follow me, man. Absolutely. All right, then. Let's go. We ain't talking no more. We in the barn. <laughs> we in the barn. Let's go. Just shut, the, shut up and wait for Sister Harriet to tell to come. She's on the way. Yeah, she go right there. Let's go. Let's get Y'all get, get them kids and get them, them bags. Let's go. You know, you That's what it's about. The comedy is a tough game, and, mm -hmm. and you, you can make a living, but it's no, hard. No, it ain't to... tough. It's not tough? No. You don't do it. I do. All right. If you love it, it's easy, like Sunday morning. Mm -hmm. But it's hard to get to your level, though. No. Mm -hmm. It's hard to, like, actually. Mm -hmm. You don't think so? I know so. I'm here. It's focus. It's it just like yesterday. Took you 30 right. years, though. That's, that's, yeah, but that's, it's the, that, that's, that's passion. Mm -hmm. That's love. It's a labor of love. I didn't mind. What I remember is just the people laughing. Don't look at it and go, I, I, there's a time limit. No, it ain't like that. Just do what you do. I'm going to do what I do, too. I'm in the grave, man. And there's more than that. More than just making people laugh, about making them feel good. You know what the most important part is? Like when people meet me in real life mm -hmm. and I'm cool and I'm a good person, that makes them even a bigger fan. They, they, It's not, I like him, it's, I love him. Mm -hmm. I'll stop and talk to you even if I don't know you. And we'll talk about the Yankees, we'll talk about the Knicks. I, I like that. Mm -hmm. That's the way my dad was. He was one of them dudes in the Bronx, late at night, you know, Puerto Ricans, Dominicans, white, everybody out there with the bongos or the joint. He was that. And I want to be like him. He, everybody loved Jimmy. Mm -hmm. I don't know I'm Jimmy. I'm, everybody loved Jimmy. And I got my moms, man. I'm going to go disrespect nobody. I learned better than that, man. Mm -hmm. So I don't care what nobody say. At this point, I'm 50. Do you really think I care about what you think about me? How does that really? feel? Really? How does 50 feel? How you feel? I feel, feel I mean, good. Yeah, I turned 40 it, this year. It feels it different. it feels good. Thank yeah. God you here. It feels different. Thank God you here. You know why? Negative or positive, you make a difference, kid. People look forward. 
right. to listen to the Breakfast Club. Mm-hmm. They look forward. You forty. Right. When you turned forty, how did you feel? You felt great. Yeah, please felt, say yeah. you felt great. I felt great. I felt great. I'm forty. I felt great. Mm-hmm. Knowledge yeah. being born, man. That's right. You ask why. The smart one is the one teaching why, how, when, who. How, uh, that's you have to lead the class. You're disruptive. No, I'm not. We not ask why. Both knowledge has got to be born. That's right. Absolutely. Now you got to tell me why. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. So I ask people, why you call me Ada? Why? What have I done to you? Have I done anything evil to you? No. Wow. Let's look at it. Let's look at knowledge itself. The clip was taken out of context, though. If you, it was. If you watched, I, if you watched just, the whole interview, just, it didn't I come I thought I was just blessing others. Mm-hmm. She's fine. She's doing great. But what about him? What about the grip? What about them people that bringing me a sausage sandwich because I wanted just because I wanted? Mm-hmm. I want to take care of that. The unsung heroes, they never get thanks. But if you look at me when I accepted that Golden Globe for 30 Rock, I thank Craft Services. So this ain't new. I thank the grips. Tina and them loved it. I worked with Tina most of, the, most of my career. Mm-hmm. She never said anything like that to me. Will Ferrell, I was on that crew. Saturday Night Live, 30 Rock, Martin. Martin is my OG. Mm-hmm. I love this thing, man. I love the people around it. Stars and non-stars. I love you. This is a community. We are all in this room mm-hmm. a part of a community. Mm-hmm. I don't got no beef with nobody in 30 years of this career. No beef. Rob was Rob was a little upset when he came up here to Rob Stapleton. Rob Stapleton. About what? Um, he said that he said that one person he thought would never shit on him shitted on him, and it was Tracy we the, we Morgan. Have the, we have the actual. I don't mind that. And what? he told us. Sorry, he feels that way. I did nothing. No yeah, one. We have the, the audience. He told a story. I when I, I hit Tracy, you know, Tracy's a full blown superstar now. Where he changed so his number. To... I don't even have his direct number. So I hit my man and said, "Yo, tell Trey I need to speak to him about the film." I didn't even need money from Turn Tracy. The film's already done. Turn I said, Trey, I want you to ex- executive produce Life my film beautiful. as I'm walking into just, you know, distribution. I've been in this Trey game got 30 back years. to me through my man and said, nah, I've been in this game 30 years. I told my brother, don't knock on my door because I don't knock on yours. Mm. If I gave you what was on my plate, then I'm not being fair to my family because when we ain't got who we going to go through. I look at it like everybody beefing like that. Would you have did that for me if you just full-blown thought? I doubt it. People say one thing and do another. Would you have did it for me? I have to stay focused. I have to stay focused. I'm glad you wrote a script and have a... Yeah, but there are others you can go to. I think he said he, he wrote for you before and, and, and helped no, you No, he never before. wrote for me. Come on, I'm Tracy Morgan. Who funny to me? How you gonna write this humor? How you gonna write for me? Who wrote for me? Even on SNL, I wrote for myself. If you don't write for yourself, you don't eat. You had, There's you only had, one you. You had people to help you write, though, right? No. I mean, you had you had writers there, yeah. and then the, we would join in. We would collaborate. Listen, that, the that gift the is thing. not just competition. Mm-hmm. The gift is collaboration. Me and you get together. Me and you get together. You Charlamagne, I'm Tracy. Mm-hmm. What if we decide to rewrite Mahogany? That's me and you going, written in the fucking hotel room, excuse my French, right. and <laughs> every night, and... Arguing? No. I know you love that scene, but it don't fit here. Mm-hmm. That's that. Got gotcha, you, got gotcha, you. That's gotcha. awesome. Mm-hmm. And then when we at the Oscars, you, I look at you like this. And you look at me and cry. And we get up there. And we thank the grips. That's OG. You want to know what OG is? If you really want to know what OG is, you ever seen Car Wash? Of course. Mm-hmm. The old one? Mm-hmm. When he got Abdullah to put the gun down? That's an OG. Come on, Abdullah, put the gun down, man. That's the epitome of an OG. Positivity. Spread love. I don't care about this. This I don't care about that negativity. Too much of it in the world. You want to know why I don't care about politics? Why I've never voted in my life? I told you before, I'm down with the king. That's who I represent. Just sending one, one person like one person over another. I'm down with the king, man. I'm down with the king. Who say he ain't on the throne no more? You don't believe me? Ask Steve Jobs. Invented Apple. One day, my man walked in the room and said, you got six months to live, homie. And that was that. So run your race. I don't get involved in none of that, man. I stay funny. Imagine if I got involved with the negativity. It would take for my sense of humor. 
But people, tra- oh. pe- people helped you on your way up, though, right, Trace? Like, yeah. We, then if that's a so problem, she, we gotta she, go back to my mother. So, I no. should. We got to go back to my mother. Every time that doctor said push, <laughs> then we go to go there. I'm starting with my mama. We <laughs> got uncles that kept me away from the streets, kept me in sports. But just career wise, so comedy. Many career wise, listen. That was a me. Martin. That was me. Yeah, yeah. But the people that helped Martin you. Martin Lawrence is the one that is my OG. Mm-hmm. If I wasn't funny, I wouldn't have been on Martin. Martin only messed with the best. I remember one day I had the Tracy Morgan show, and the little boy Bobby, John, Jay Thompson, was getting off. He's coming off. So they called me out the bird break, and I went out there. And Jeff Zucker, I was having a meeting with Jeff Zucker. And he said, so I hear the, the little boy's upstaging you. And he didn't really you know I was this smart. I said, well, if he's not, I don't want him on my show. Mm-hmm. These little boys should be upstaging me. Mm-hmm. I only mess with the best. Is that it? No, I'm not. Got on the plane, came back to New York. I'm a smart businessman. I'm smart with talent. I created the OG. I lived with that for eight years. That's my life. Every storyline goes through me. Because that's my life. I'll fight the studio and fight the studio till I can't fight no more. Then you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to quit. It's going to get canceled anyway. Because you can't do my life better than me. You can't. So what kind you, of things you, would the studio fight you on, hmm? though, being that that's your life? They don't. TBS is the best. Mm-hmm. That's why I've, I've loved them because I've, my comedy found a home there. Mm-hmm. I love that you guys... And I love TBS, and I do anything for TBS. That TBS you guys also one. did that basketball court that I was at with you that's in Brooklyn. That's really happened. And mm-hmm. Best Eye, they actually paid... You know what's going to happen this season? What? You was on the set. Mm-hmm. You know what's going to happen this season? I'll give you a little glimpse. So we did, I did 15 years in prison. I didn't get to see my kids being born. You know, I'm quite sure she told you. Nah, I ain't then wait for it. Part. I ain't hear about that part. Wait for it. We are gonna visit a lot of areas this year on Lasso G, and you know these people. Why you think people gravitate to the show? You know these people. We are in a we are color in a dark place. The Lasso G is the most honest show about crack that I ever seen <laughs> with commercials. Mm-hmm. Word. All of that happened. You know these people, kid. This is not a black show, man. It's a human show. It's about love. It's about forgiveness. It's about second chances. Mm. Where the second chance part you think came from? Mm. You got to forgive, man. Mm-hmm. Love and forgiveness is still the most powerful thing in the earth. And instead of me beefing with Lil Rel, I extended my hand and said, I love you, brother. Stay funny. He don't need me coming at him. For what? That's not fair. That's not cool. Mm-hmm. I love Tiffany. I gave her someplace safe to work, warm, loving, and free. I learned that from Denzel. You guys, I, I know it starts with me. I'm the leader there. It all starts with me, and I have to set an example for that. We don't do this. We do it as a family over there. Mm-hmm. We're not going to win if we don't do this like a family. That's what I love about the Knicks. They play like a family now. They suck, if I'm though. on the court, no, they don't. Leave them alone. They're young. <laughs> Let them develop, Charlemagne. That's we have to like support it. them. <laughs> this, this show is in New York. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about it's the not Nets? not nowhere else. You don't support the Nets, too? No. You from Brooklyn. That's Brooklyn, no. No, it doesn't Chris. matter. I'm a Nick fan. My dad gave me a Nick, made me a Nick fan, and that's what I'm going to stay. <laughs> I love the Nets. I don't want anybody in, in sports, period, to stay away from injuries. Mm-hmm. That's what, I mean, it's just a sport. Right. But no one wants to see anyone get hurt. Mm-hmm. It's not necessary. But you're not going so to when the word thing. hate is used with me, that's hurtful. Mm-hmm. That's really hurtful Did to you do have... that publicly. Because I have a daughter, mm-hmm. and they have teachers that watch TMZ. That was wrong, but that's my being emotional. They're not thinking about, well, this man has a family. You know, let me tell you something, man. I told you before, you know what I mean? You go back mm-hmm. like spinal cords and car seats. You mm-hmm. know how my heart is. Mm-hmm. You know what kind of man I am. And so do you, and so do you. Mm-hmm. The hardest part of that accident was forgiving that driver. If I could forgive him, who hurt me really bad, and my friends, and killed my other friend, then I could forgive anybody in the world. We must learn to do that with each other. Even those who trespass upon you, for they know not what they do. How do you use your position to make it easier for other other comedians? I'm getting up? the key to Brooklyn. You was there when I put that park in Marcy. Mm-hmm. That's where I'm at. Mm-hmm. I'm going to take my prestige and help others. Point blank. How did Answer you, your question. How did you get to the point to, to, to forgive? When, when did you open up and say, my I dad, have to forgive? When I was a baby. You don't just become a good person. 
that was put in me. I know my pedigree tree. <laughs> I know my, my great great grandmother on both sides. My dad came back from Vietnam, and he taught me well as a youngster. Let me tell you where you are and who you are, little black boy. Knowledge yourself. Knowledge yourself. Key to the universe. You have to forgive. But in order to be understood, you got to understand. Mm -hmm. I love you, Rob Stapleton, and you know that. Me and you go back like spinal cords and car seats. But right now, focused. Forgive me if I cannot, but one day, hopefully I'll be able to return to love in that form. But if you get on the radio and say bad things about me because I can't help you right now and I'm not in a position like that, I'm not. Well, he, he said that you didn't even you wouldn't even give him a courtesy right? call back. Like, no, that's a lie. I see Rob all the time. I'm at. I'm not running. I'm not hiding. I'm at Caroline's. I'm at Caroline's. Why would you take the opportunity to be on this show and do that? Mm-hmm. No one else is saying that about me. Mm-hmm. You're you're a funny man, Rob. You can make it happen. I worked hard to be where I'm at to get on SNL and all that. I had to over most a lot of black people that do SNL. Had suffered from uh, suffered from uh, what is that when you scared of white people being a um, whiteophobia? No, white-a-phobia. not not that. <laughs> <laughs> they um, they have um, I forget the name. Scared of white people? I call that being black. Not scared of white people, but they're not used to that. Xenophobia. They su- no, they suffer from um, you know what it is when the deer's in front of headlights. Oh, I think they get stuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Starstruck, kind of. No, no, they get I- stuck. You come from a world of black, and now you're in front of an all-white audience. You might get stuck because you, think you, you might up. lose confidence in your material. Right. It worked there, but it might not work like here. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I, I, my dad had everybody in the house, so that wasn't a problem for me. I just see you as human beings. I'm looking behind them eyes, man. Mm-hmm. Your soul. Let me tell you something, man. White people laugh at the same thing we laugh at. You just got to use more details. <laughs> you gotta use, when you paint your picture, just use more detail so they'll get it. <laughs> they'll get it. Mm-hmm. Is it possible you to use do, more color? Is they'll po- get it. Is it possible to do great They're comedy? They're all humans. Under these clothes, we're all just mammals. Mm-hmm. Huh? I said, is it possible to do great comedy without <laughs> offending people nowadays? No, if you don't offend nobody, you're probably not funny. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's just that some reason or not, they're putting us all in different brackets now. It, it's like people lost their sense of humor. You want to just... This is this is this is this. Yeah, that's what it is. Why you? I'm, I'm a comedian. I'm a comedian. I'm the one that's supposed to hold up the mirror. Look what we're afraid of. If we just looked at the news all day, we'd be miserable. Mm-hmm. I'm the other side. I'm the other side. I'm the sense of humor. God didn't give me material. He gave me a sense of humor. The blessing wasn't material. If your third eye is open, the material's right in front of you. You'll see it. Absolutely. But then we, everybody don't have that third eye open. They want to start stealing. They want to start, he's hating them. No, it ain't about that. Get on the stage, grab the mic, and put it down quite flat. Are you able to find the humor in anything? Huh? Are you able to find humor in anything? This is what Martin used to do to me. Take an orange. What's funny about that? That's an exercise. Find mm. it. Find it. What's funny about that cup, Sean? Find it. You can find a humor. God bless us all with a sense of humor. Because if you don't laugh, you're going to cry. Mm. I'm not concerned with that. That's a gift that was given to me. I clean it off. <laughs> it's funny. It's funny. I clean it off. Mm-hmm. And I'm still a fan. Mm-hmm. I'm a fan of Tiffany. I'm a fan of Lil Rel. I know how hard it is to get on stage and make the world laugh mm-hmm. when they ain't got nothing to laugh about. Mm-hmm. I'm a buck up in the black community. We talk about welfare moms. We talk about drugs. We talk about all of that. And I got to make you laugh? Mm-hmm. Wow, I'm going all out. You know what comedy is? You want to know what comedy is? What's, What's comedy? comedy? What's comedy? Knowing who you are, where you from, and perfection. You look at Def Jam when I first started and I had the propeller hat on. What mm-hmm. was in front of it? A food stamp. Tracy Morgan made it a fascist statement to be on welfare. <laughs> <laughs> that was the first one. I'm the first of a... Whole generation, I'm the first one to start saying my baby mother. My baby mother. Nobody was saying that before me. I changed it. I'm like James Brown. They didn't even see it coming. I did Michael Jackson with a dirty side. Creativity, <laughs> B. I, who did Biscuit? But then I had to go to SNL. 
That's when you evolve. Mm. Got to grow. You got to grow. You can't be looking for nobody to give you nothing. So you got to keep evolving. You, Why you think the dinosaurs ain't here no more? It didn't evolve quick enough. Mm -hmm. You will evolve. One day you might be Brian Gumble, the next Brian Gumble. <laughs> <laughs> a true living journalist. <laughs> nah, you right now, you just word on the street. Every day is about evolution. I'm with it's you. It's about evolving yeah. and sometimes revolving. Yeah. Cause the world, the world is doing this and this and this at the same time around the sun. I call you sun because you shine like that. So when you next? go back, huh? What's next for Tracy? What What are you evolving to? What's the next? Waking up tomorrow, not taking today for granted, fixing what I messed up yesterday, tomorrow, today. What do you feel like you messed up? Nothing. I might have said something to my wife. She might have an attitude. Mm. <laughs> Throw on the day, kiss on her booty cheek. I'm sorry. Mm. <laughs> you know what it is, Pop. Mm. Your father, your husband. When he leaves the station, he's just dad and husband at home. Absolutely. You don't feel the need to be here. I don't feel the need to. The, I don't feel the, like the be funny in my house. Mm -hmm. There, I'm just daddy. I'm going to go make me some Franks, man. Mm -hmm. Franks and tater tots. Today, you know what's for dinner tonight? School lunch is on the menu. Tater tots, <laughs> sloppy <laughs> joe, chocolate milks, and then I might go to the cafeteria and get me a... I, uh, my, my girl, if you was my girl, you ain't never eating school lunch. I'm getting money at Yankee Stadium. I'm coming back, you with your girlfriend, yo, you got money? Mm -hmm. No. Yeah. Go to the app, go get some McDonald's for you and your girlfriend. Here's some coupons. Get some Big Macs. <laughs> some That's Trey Bang! Trey! Yo, Trey, come here! Y'all y'all bugged out. Well, that's Trey around the way. That's around the way. It's all around the way for me, man. One thing I like about you, you don't care about keeping up with the times. Like, you stick to your own script. about that. Stay in my lane. Trey, I'm good. You was in the airport the other day with a boombox? Blasting it? Yeah, but I play good music. They just try to say I'll play ASAP Ferg. Now I'm with my daughter, taking my daughter to Disney World for Halloween. Why would I play ASAP Ferg? That was Bottom Dwellers. But you don't respond to that. It goes away. It was news one day, goes away the next. It's like when before there was this. It was a newspaper, page six. Well, today's news, tomorrow's kitty litter. Mm. Nah, man, you know what I mean? People are made feel good, right? That's my assistant right there. He don't want to hold a box. <laughs> we playing Lionel Richie going through the airport, but somebody probably was black because white people don't know who ASAP Ferg is. Said Tracy Morgan playing ASAP Ferg with his wife, the nanny, and his daughter. Really? You ain't got nothing else to talk about, huh? Did ASAP sample you bottom dwellers? Disrespect me. <laughs> disrespect mm -hmm. me like I don't know better. But if you feel the need to say that, then say it. It's all right. We had a great time at Disney World. Uh, My daughter's five years old, and she day. had a great time. Love it. She was dressed as a skeleton the night before Christmas, mm -hmm. and she had a great time. We moved on after that. But, you, but Donald you know, Trump. you do understand everybody's perception is different, though. Like, I see, don't care about that. But you got I'm to. I'm only I mean, one you person. Don't have to, no, I don't. No, I don't. coming through with the boom no, box, I don't. somebody Doesn't else matter. might be like, that's it annoying. It was feel good music. I don't care. Mm -hmm. Say it to me. Approach me. I'll turn it down. This is America. I'm not hurting anyone. <laughs> It was just the radio. Did you have to run it through security? I came in here, huh? Did you have to run it through security? I'm tray bag. <laughs> I'm tray bag. Come on, man. Tray bag. Work, you know, work, security man. Come on. I own the company. I'm already pre approved, man. I don't got to take shoes off tonight, man. I'm with the TC. We all pre approved, man. I don't exactly. take no shoes. What if I got a hole in my sock? What if my feet stink? <laughs> Keeping my joints on, man. My uncle had the stinkest feet in the world. We call him Fatty Love. Got a family full of women pregnant, all sisters. I love him. That's where I get my sister humor. Mike, Mike, rest in peace, baby. Fatty Love, kid. Wait, mm -hmm. slow down. He got all the sisters pregnant? Went from one room to another. So Goodness pregnant. gracious. Not Straight his sisters, yee. No, no the I know sisters. that. I'm talking about oh, a family full of sisters. Oh, world life. That's crazy. Your uncle. Fatty Love and my pops was rich and probably funny. So it came from both sides of the so family. So that's your sisters and your yeah. cousins. Like when you It's not my job to... <laughs> Uh, I, I, it's not my job. To, I'm not Steven Spielberg. I can't take on someone's script and make it happen. Mm -hmm. You have to want that. Jordan Peele didn't do that. He wrote Get Out for eight years. Mm -hmm. And then one day it happened. You have to put yourself in position. First of all, you have to get an agent. I'm not an agent. I'm an artist. You have to get yourself an agent. I want some meetings with some studios. Mm -hmm. That's how that happens. Mm -hmm. That's all I can say. I don't have, come on. I'm an artist. You get you an agent, 
and put you in position in L.A. because that's where they make movies. I live right here mm-hmm. in New Jerusalem. Mm-hmm. I'm not, I ain't, I'm trying to get a movie made myself. You don't ever feel like moving back to Brooklyn? No. <laughs> I'm just asking. No. Did you you see a tree? <laughs> you see a tree? <laughs> yes. It grows away from the roots. <laughs> then you got branches that grow away from the tree. No. When I do go back at 3 o'clock in the morning, I don't c- open the windows. Them street taxes is the mother. Mm-hmm. I, I told you, I got what's on my place. I got to save that for my fam. Mm-hmm. My daughter's five years old. I'm thinking about her future. Mm-hmm. Always. Mm-hmm. 13, she might go to boarding school because she's going to be a lady. There's too much going on out here that could influence her. Mm-hmm. No, you're not. Certain things are played on our TV. Her mother's a lady. Um, thank God for that. Mm-hmm. Those boarding school kids are kind of wild, though. What, boarding schools? Yes. I don't know. I let, you got to talk to her mother about it. Even that. in private schools? You have to talk. I'm that. daddy. I bring home the bacon. She fried up in a pan. It's just a thought. She's going to fry. We're not going to get in my head yet. Boarding so <laughs> schools are crazy. I go, my wife be like this. <laughs> you go to the breakfast club. What? <laughs> you come home with that? <laughs> <laughs> no, stop it. It's true. I just think about. I just said boarding school. Them boarding schools is crazy. Already in there. Already in there moving furniture around. And already in there. Already in there moving furniture around. Just, Maybe that, like that's a good this girl, idea. That's this. a good idea. That's all you had to say. The girl is fine. <laughs> All time before that. As, as the OG, how do you feel when you see comedians beefing with other comedians? I think that's, I just told you, they taking us and putting us in a different bracket now. Mm-hmm. I never seen that with Eddie Murphy and um, Arsenio and Simba. I never seen that. Right. So I don't know what that is. I just think that doing stand up is like one of the hardest things to do in the world. All right. So we should p- support one another. Mm-hmm. I don't I don't dig it. I'm th- 50 years old. I look like beefing. I got, my oldest son is 33. You are the OG. You ever thought about calling? Huh? You ever thought about calling? Yeah, you like when you OG. see Cat Williams going Cat. at Kev. Like, yeah, I don't know what that is. Uh, I stay away from that the fray of it. I stay away from the fray of it. I stay Tracy. Love everybody, man. It's all good. And I just keep it moving forward. I got hit by a truck four years ago. Mm-hmm. I don't have time for that. I don't. You asking me about it? I don't know. Right. I don't know what that is. I never had no beef with Martin. It's my OG. No way. No way. Mm-hmm. I don't know what that is. I get on stage, I grab the mic, and I make people laugh that pay good money to come see me. There could be out, somebody out there in that audience ready to go home and burn their family up in the audience. Give me that knife. Like Kev said, laugh at my pain. You ain't the only one with problems, man. I want you to forget about it when you come to Tracy Morgan. Mm-hmm. I'm on tour. I'm on tour. I got the number one hit comedy show on cable. I got a movie coming out with Tar- Taraji P. That's gonna be a super mega hit. What what women what, want? What men want? What men want? Not awesome to work with. Mm-hmm. To me, I see she's like a the black female version of Lucia Ball. <laughs> Lucia Ball, Mom's Mabley, all of that. She thinks about it. We spoke about it. I dig her. And I'm turning fifty. I have sons that look at me. I don't want my son going. Your dad, what's up? You beefing? What's up? Mm-hmm. Nah, my sons will do that. They're good men. Mm-hmm. They would be so disappointed in me if I got involved with that. That's not their dad. Mm-hmm. My wife would look at me and really be upset emotionally, really be upset. And she would give me that look. And I know what that look is. Nah, man, I ain't getting involved. Man. I'm saying, Trey, I'm good. I feel fortunate. Since you feel did the movie What Men Went, you think your wife would like to know what goes on in your head if she could read your mind? No, she wouldn't. Megan ain't like that. I don't feel like you Megan keep much ain't. in anyway, though, Trace. No, let it for what? Yeah. <laughs> for what? <laughs> Who's thoughts. a benefit? People have random thoughts. You got to know how I feel, ye. Mm-hmm. That's communication. That's what adults do. What I need to hide anything for. I'm Tracy Morgan. For what? I'm not scared of nobody. This is how I feel, brother. So you'll know not to hurt me no more. This is how I feel. You know how I feel. Mm-hmm. My friends and people that know me know how I feel. I don't got to tell them. They already know how I feel. Because without some of them, I wouldn't be here. So I get what you're saying about Rob. But right now, I don't I'm in position to help anyone like that. Mm-hmm. You have to really go get your agent. That's how I did it. 
My agent set me up with a beating with TBS. And I pitched my idea. Now I'm here. I think he was- I didn't ask anyone for anything. Nobody never gave me nothing. If I wasn't funny, I wouldn't have been on Martin. I think he just wanted to hear that from you. I yeah, think- well, Rob, that's where I'm at with it. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry I couldn't take your call. Probably was busy. Because outside of show business, I'm with my family. And I do not wish to be disturbed. I'm with my family. Who needs me more than anybody on this planet? That little girl. Why you think I fought so hard to come out that coma, man? She was only 10 months. My wife is young, man. My wife, 18 years old, younger than me. And my sons are growing. I got to be here. I don't think about scripts and all that all day, 24-7. What's my priority? God help Former. That's how you know Tracy getting money. He that was a white man God just, just came out. Say, Who, who's my, what's my priority? It was God important for him to need it. <laughs> it was important for him to know. He's my sister and he's very close to me. Mm-hmm. It's important for him to know who I am. That's where, I, that's where I'm at. That's where my heart is, right? So right, you, know, you know when not to bother him. He knows. He yeah, beats yeah, my yeah, mind. Yeah, yeah. He have to to be my assistant. There's so many moving parts to Tracy Morgan. <laughs> there's so many moving parts. Then there's times where I got to calm him down because he's on. His, he's so efficient. He's on it too much. Relax. It's not that serious. <laughs> you are very direct and very blunt, Tracy. Are you aware when you may say something that may hurt somebody's feelings? No, because I'm always considering other people's feelings. Mm-hmm. I'm considerate. I get that from my mom. You have to consider. You tell the truth. I, at least I tell the truth. But yeah, but you hurt him. You hurt him. He got feelings. You have to be considerate. This time when me and my old lady go at it, and she'll say things in an argument, always protecting my vulnerability. I love you, May. I love you, May. But there's times she might say something, and I just get real quiet. That's how you let them know, you hurt me. Ten minutes later, you came and kissed me on my forehead and said, I'm sorry I said that. Doesn't have to be all of them, because when emotions, emotions, right. people say things that they don't mean. I know Rel said that out of emotions. Tiffany feelings might have got hurt. I don't know. You have a lot of pub coming at you. I just took the time just to thank those who don't get that. Right. Just to let them know we appreciate you coming to work every day and doing what you do for us. I'm quite sure Tiffany feels that way too. That's what I thought. But but in, the, in the context it was presented to us, you did sound like you was hating, though. No, I didn't. In I that feel context. Like it's just that I'm direct and I project when I speak. But that comes from me doing stand-up. Mm-hmm. I got to stand up. I got to tell the people in the back of here mm-hmm. and way over there and way over there. I tell people all the time when you're on stage, I'm also development. Everybody on my tour, I got to develop. I don't want you standing right there in front of the mic. That's a comic doing that. You're a comedian. Move around, put the mic stand behind you and move around. On the stage, there's pockets of love over there. There's pockets of love over there. There's pockets of love. Don't neglect no part of your audience. Give them everything. Move around. Just know when to land so your punchline will be effective. See, that's game. That's a good game. Always give thanks to others when you're on top. Tiff, they're doing this for you. Rel, they're doing it for you. You don't want nobody liking you. You want them loving you. You gotta keep it real and you gotta get that love back. Do you and Tiff speak? Did y'all speak after all that? Oh, they okay. do the show. Yeah, the show. Yeah. But she has a world. But I know if they had a she conversation. She has a world. About that. No, she has a whole world. But listen, when that happened, it was the day before when we had the dinner, the day before the first day of shooting, mm-hmm. and she might have been concerned. And I walked up to her and I just grabbed her. Come here. I'm so happy you're here. She needed that. And I could feel her just melting my arms like a ton of bricks were off of her. She told that little boy not to do that. And don't worry about me and you. Me and you good. You've been nothing but kind to me. But I also understand you're a lady. Mm -hmm. You might not be feeling good sometimes. You got your period, you got all of that. I get it. (laughs) And then you still have to do your job. So I have to be, you know, receptive to that. I feel that. It's all good. But me and you, good. When I see you, Shana, man, I know that's your girlfriend, your close. But when you came to the set, it was nothing but love. Come here, nigga. Absolutely. Come here, give me some love. I need it. I might be having a bad day. He came, gave me the love from my brother, and it was all good. Mm-hmm. Sometimes no worries. other people weighing in on things that make you feel like things get blown out of proportion. Like but it's you, the internet, too. Things are out of right, context. So everybody's if we see, weighing if, in. If we hear Tracy, and I'm like, damn, Tracy sounds like he hating on Tiff. As a brother, I'm going to come to my sister's defense. Same yeah, thing no. with rap. No way. I never hate on no one, man. Mm-hmm. I got my truck, man. I'm here. I hate on nobody. Mm-hmm. I got love for you, man. We Even those to... who trespass upon me, I love you. 
I know my way because my reward, this ain't my reward. Well, let me hold None it. None of it. You got to have it. Let me have it. You got to have it. You got to have it. My reward is when he walks me back into his kingdom. Absolutely. And I see all of our people waiting on us. If a dude try to rob me, yo, listen, dude. You got to have it. Then where you going to live? No? Okay. I'm a Brooklyn dude, man. Ain't now, nothing soft about me. You, you said Ain't nothing sweet about me, man. I just do comedy. I come from Tonkin's projects. Jay know me, Todd know me. Right across the street from Marcy. Mm -hmm. I had to hold it down. You got Marcy right here, you got Sumner right here, and we was in the middle holding it down on both sides. So Marcy come through. That's how time, Jay, they slopping all of them for Marcy. They come through. I knew Danny Dan, all of them. Ben, Killer Ben, K. Sar lived in my building. God bless the Jack. I know Glaze, Supreme Team. What up, Glaze? You know what I'm saying? Clark Kent down there in Fort. I'm good. But then I went to the Bronx. Played football with Larry Davis. Played football on the snow with Larry Davis. Come on, Highbridge, Master Robin, all of them. You know. You know what it is. Then went through Harlem. See Paul and them coming to Rutgers. My man Rich Porter. You know, I ain't nothing sweet about me, but Rich Porter was the baddest dude I knew. I loved the way, the way his whole style was. AZ. Hey, yo, what up, A? Hey, Trey. I'm good. Peter Chu. What up? I'm good with everybody, man. You see Trey come through, you play to your strength. If you real with your people, they're going to defend you. They're going to be right there for you. I'm good. Anything happen to me after that, you make me a mortar. Any man, woman, or child who ain't made his decision, already made his decision. So I'm good if I have died in an accident. I know where I'm going after this. Go home. So I don't walk with fear. I don't walk with, I don't get defensive. I'm not defensive. I know I'm not a hater. I don't got to defend that. Mm. It ain't true. As long as you're telling the truth, you don't got to defend it. I don't even worry about it when I get on stage. It's the truth. If I get into sex and I get raunchy, it's still the truth if you think about it. It's on your mind. Yeah, you, you all tore salad. <laughs> <laughs> if you go, if you eating that book, you tore salad. It ain't but that far apart. <laughs> That's the bridge over troubled water, and we all slip. <laughs> Sometimes you have that aroma in your beard. Ain't nobody slipping. I know you got that butt hole in your beard. You got that butt hole in this beard. Yeah, you got that butt hole, that beard hole in this beard. She knows you want it. It's a drama of toss that salad. It's a drama of being smelling. Yeah, that's what it is. It's all a part of love making, man. It's all a part of love making. When I'm there, I'm crazy. When you got me there, I'm crazy. I'm a man. And ain't nothing better than one man. It's God's greatest creation. We just don't appreciate y'all like we should. But you know, man, we don't miss the water to the well run dry. That's we learn to call you all night long crying. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, yo, yeah. Come on, man. I ain't mean it. Well, you should have thought about that. I think about it. I'm not gonna be on stage just talking stuff I don't know. Right. Oh, it's well thought out. I knew you was gonna ask that question. Mm -hmm. I'm telling the truth. Hundred percent. You know that. See us on the set together. Everybody don't see Tracy Morgan and Tiffany Haddish together. And it's I, love, I feel. She do her job, I do mine, we go back to our trailers. And I see you showing the craft service people love, so that's yeah, real. Radio, <laughs> yo, my radio's on, on the set. Mm -hmm. I love my sound, it keeps me right. Mm -hmm. I got my own soundtrack. I like to listen to old school, so I keep me just as saying the positivity. It was feel good music then. Little Barbara Streisand and Barry It was Gibbs. feel good. You mm -hmm. ever nothing to be guilty. Yeah. You know what I was listening to today? And could we get up uh, Old Dirty Bassett, <laughs> Pop Shots? Oh, got to. Could we get up Old Dirty Bassett, Pop Shots? He made food stands I cool want too. the world to know where my <laughs> head was. It's right now. I love ODB. Mm -hmm. We used to run together. I'm good with the whole woo. I'm woo for life. Mm -hmm. And I'm standing right here on the Breakfast Club. Tracy Morgan is woo for life. And I hope they let me play Old Dirty Bassett in the movie. I used to run with it. <laughs> <laughs> shimmy, shimmy, y'all. You're going to be at the Beacon Theater November 10th? Yeah, that's Beacon my Theater, birthday. Beacon Theater, November yeah, 10th. Yeah, Monday, yeah. I'm feeling, I'm feeling great. On my birthday, you know, God gave me a gift to make others laugh on my birthday. You can't beat that. So if you asking me, it's, 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 it's good to make you laugh. Mm -hmm. you so controversial. But Tracy Morgan makes Shalom. Man, he love Trey. I don't care. When you said that, I don't care about that. I know how you feel about me. I don't care about that. He at work. He at work. 
You know it. I can still love you, and if I feel like you sounded like a and hater, I love I you, it, 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 yeah. it's all right. Like I just said, and I know you would check me the same way. As long as we are men, we yeah. discuss it. Only kids get the fighting and all of that. We better know why these kids today are so emotional. Why they shooting? Right. Because they have no hope. No one's ever gave them any reason to have hope. Emotion. You have to control that as a man, young man. You better learn to get that under control, young Skywalker. You're Jedi. Let me check your emotions, or you can't exist in a in a the, the the business world. In the corporate world, you have to understand uh, conflict resolution. That's a fact. That's right. You have to learn that it's not the streets. You gotta learn how to talk. Well, I feel like this, and my ba ba, and calm your emotions down. Because once people know they can trigger you, it's a wrap for you, weak man. It's a wrap. I'm gonna trigger him. Then I'm going to film it. Then I'm going to show others my handiwork. That's why I never responded to none of that stuff. Because right. it's not true. It goes away. When you don't. Once you respond, she's going to trigger you. It becomes And when you bigger. respond, it becomes a story. Mm -hmm. And now our argument over meatloaf just turned into divorce. Because it was unresolved unresolved stuff in the, in the relationship. That's real. Right. It should have been resolved right there. We have 168 hours in the... In a day, in a week, in a week, we gotta take one of those hours sacredly, me and you, because I love you, mm -hmm. and resolve this mm -hmm. issue. Can we? Absolutely. Then let's talk about it. Did you? Did you? Let's go get a brew first. Did you and Rel get to do that, or it was just a? Hand no, shake? I just told him I resolved yeah, it. Yeah, I yeah, told yeah. him I love you. Mm -hmm. Stay funny. That's it. He should have known that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man to man, he should have known that. Mm -hmm. Dude ain't got no animosity or anything towards me. I don't. I feel grateful. Mm -hmm. I survived. Jimmy Mac didn't. Right. Rest in peace, Jimmy Mac. Rest in peace, Pop. You know I love you, OG. Peaking Put theater. Thing, the last name, the name of the show is the last OG. My father was my first OG. Who you think my last OG was? Jimmy Mac. You the, all right then. That's right. November tenth. Get your tickets. Beacon it's, it's, it's Tracy's born day. Thank you, Tracy, for Take joining your girl, us. Get some, I love y'all. All three of y'all. You know how I feel? You better be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> she don't know you know I'm coming. <laughs> Why do have to be a surprise? Damn. Man, we open his mouth all the time. Man. That had to be a surprise. That was going to be a surprise tonight, the salad tossing. Ah. <laughs> it's Tracy Morgan. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning.